Hey buddies, here's Ernest Lai studying GT Ellinger College in Grade 9B. And now I will introduce the sport to you, tennis. Tennis is a great sport which is played often played between two players, which is called a single match or a double match played between four players. Tennis played with a ball made of rubber and the surface of it is made of felt, the material to make carbon. The aim of tennis is to make your opponent to make a bad return. Play under the net or out of the court with its core in and out. Tennis plays with a racket too. In the past, it is made of wood, which is really easy to break, and it over much less power. But now, it is made of light turn metal, such as titanium, or long metal, such as graphite. This is really hard, and you can see that it is really hard to break it. It also an advantage for the professionals because they can hit with much more power. Aside say before, as long as you can hold the racket, you can play this sport tennis. So now I should introduce the topic to you: the grip. There are various grips in tennis, like the shaking hand grip, eastern forehand grip, which is the palm is on the side of the racket. It's over you to hit a much flatter forehand, and but the disadvantage is that there is less beam you can apply on it and your opponent is really easy to handle it. The next is the semi-western forehand grip. It is used for most professional players as it can generate power and spin easily. The extreme western grip is overused most beans and it is used by pro baseliners. The top two guys, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. And last, the simplest one, the continental grip, which is known as Tropetru. It is used for slice and for backhand. And now we will see some of the videos that are chosen in the internet for the from the top five guys in tennis. And I will analyze for you what grip did they hold and why did they hold. Let's turn for the Top one guy, Novak Djokovic. He is holding a Western forehand grip. And you can see that it has to be hidden in a higher contact point. And you need rather shorter follow through too. Next is Rafael Nadal. He is so strong and he can apply the spin easily. You can see that it's really hit in a high speed, a really close, with a high neck clearance. That means there is less error.
the top three. Roger Federer. As I told you before, the semi-western grid can generate power easily, so you can see that he is hitting in a really gentle way, not offering much power. In top four, Andy Murray. Hitting with the semi forehand grip. At last, Joe Wilferson got the top five. He's hitting the eastern forehand grip, which is the less one that is chosen from the professionals. You can see that he is hitting in a really flat way. You can hit really well too if you can perfection it. So thanks for you all. And here is Ernest Line from Great Line B again. And thanks for you all to watch it. Goodbye now.